Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're still, I guess we're looking for Mega to get 1,001%, but there's no rush, baby. We have random the lost. All right, all right, well this is like, oh, I had Eden's Blessing on our last run too, so we start with Succubus, which is actually awesome. 1B7NPYYH is gonna be our lost seed for today, although you're probably starting without Succubus. Um, which is a huge handicap. <laughs> That's like a really, really good item. Uh, I forgot that we got Eden's Blessing on our last run, so that's awesome. Um, that is, that's gonna give us a huge leg up on the competition. And it might seem like, oh, it's a loss, that's a bad random, but to be honest with you, you know, like, lost streaks are a thing now, and they're a thing for a reason. The lost is not the best character in the game, but certainly not nearly as bad as it used to be. It's like a, an acceptable start. I mean, the fact, of course, that we start with another deal with the devil item that is probably like B to A tier is also good. I know, you just whenever you mention what you feel about an item, people are always like, it's not a B, it's a B plus. And I'm like, man, there's so, we went to different schools. We have like different standards for grading. I'm not even saying my standards are harder. I'm just saying, you know, so there's a lot of unknowns going on here. Don't get stress, stress out about it too much. What I mean when I say it's a B to A tier item is that it's great, but it's a cut below the absolute cream of the crop. It's a cut below the, your brimstones and your mom's knives, probably your incubuses and, um, well, I don't know, anything anything of that sort. Probably like a little bit of a cut below your Judas of Shadows, if I could even say that myself. Okay, let's... uh. Move in here. Little Horn, is this worth a Chariot card? Yes! Are we gonna use it? No, because our Chariot card is a lifesaver as the Lost. Basically what we're gonna do with it is whenever we lose Holy Mantle on a room that has a lot of shit left to do, we are gonna stick our Chariot card in our hand and then throw it at the enemy and get some invincibility. I don't know how you use tarot cards actually, I guess you just hold it up and then believe in the heart of the cards or something. Alright, uh, Jesus Juice, an acceptable pickup. Anything that's not HP is good. Not only is the loss great because of the Holy Mantle, um, of course, but also free Devil Deals. Now that's a little bit more like RNG dependent to some extent. You gotta actually get Devil Deals that cost HP instead of just fighting Krampus or getting, you know, two red chests or something like that, but it's, assuming you can actually finagle yourself precedent, it's actually extremely valuable. As you probably don't need me to tell you, but um, I'd I'd say that we probably have above a fifty percent chance of winning this run. We'll we'll probably try to shy away from stuff like boss rush or hush because that it really does not synergize well with holy mantle. But um, if we if if things change, I don't know. Not too salty over not being able to open these tinted rocks up either, because in all likelihood we probably would just get spirit hearts that we don't care about regardless. So that even you know most of the time we'd be pretty peeved about it, pretty cheesed off, if you pardon my French, but uh, in our current situation, it's no big deal. Statistically, one of these has a pretty good chance to have, uh, to have had a small rock in it, I guess, but I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much. Our damage starts out pretty excellent, mostly thanks to Succubus, so. I know Succubus doesn't affect our actual damage stat, but I'm saying our ability to kill enemies is great here, or at least very good. Um... Okay, two battery charges. We're not going to D4 ourselves unless it happens by accident. My protocol for fighting Ragman is going to be basically... Oh, that was a little dangerous. Identical to my protocol for fighting... Um, little Horn. Let's try to figure out who we actually fought in our last section. I am not going to use the Cherry card unless we get hit, and I think that I have a good chance to get hit one more time after that. So we're good. Range upgrade, not ideal, but we'll go with it. And then a deal with the devil that actually costs us red hearts, or I guess spirit hearts in this case, which is kind of weird. Maybe that's how it always is with the loss, but we also got Necronomicon. So we got Black Powder, it's all right. And then we get Necronomicon, which at the very least is gonna make big rooms easier. I don't mind that. Um, it's not my ideal devil deal. It's not my ideal devil deal, but for free, you know, you can't go wrong. That huge spider took a Necronomicon shot and then like six hits. It's a little ridiculous. Now if we could just get like Battery Baby. So we're like guaranteed to keep on trucking here. Actually, you know what would be, I mean Battery Baby would be nice. What I'm actually looking for is like Goathead. 
Had to use the cherry card there, unfortunately. We got lucky to not die. Uh, Goathead would just give us free devil deals every single floor, which would be dope. Yeah, I mean, I think Cursed Eye actually is the lost is fine. If we could force ourselves to teleport out of a, a room we don't like, then, you know, that's hunky dory, man. Let's see what we got going on in here. Mostly just want a deal with the devil, as you might expect. Is it just me, or, like, maybe it's just because I pick it up all the time? Oh, shit. It really feels like Cursed Eye shows up all the fucking time. Don't, this attack is bullshit, Stain. We shouldn't get hit again on Stain. If I did, I'd be relatively embarrassed to myself. Which is not to say I'm not relatively embarrassed to myself on a daily basis. Good, 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 good. Come on. We got him. Little dangerous. We did get a deal with the devil. I kind of don't want it to be a Krampus fight right now. Alright, we get uh, nothing, and then also betrayal, which is okay. Head down to the next floor. Uh, admittedly, things got a little dicey there, and we didn't really get that much better, but we have improved somewhat. Temperance is basically just like, as the lost, I look to it as an opportunity to make a bomb better. So if we're going to use a bomb to blow up a tinted rock, we put temperance down next to it and maybe pick up some consumables. That's about it. But for now, we're still trucking along here. I was, I, I don't love using it there, but sure. It felt like it had to be done. So in this situation, we can at least use our bomb semi-effectively here. Not sure which one of those uh, blood banks gave me the, the nickel, but... Traded a bomb for a nickel? That's not too bad. We got two keys. Well, we got the two keys we need, I should say. We can also open every golden chest. I'm hoping that maybe we get another deal with the devil on this floor, which is greedy, but it, it could be a deal with the devil that actually does something nice for us for once. Tower with Holy Mantle is, is relatively risk-free compared to the norm with the tower, so I'm feeling like we might be able to get kind of disproportionately nice uh, payout out of this. At least we can be a little bit less risk-averse with it. Uh, at this point, I'm like, man, do I really care about one more cent when we already have 39 of them? Probably not. Good stuff. Succubus should finish the job. Okay. No greed. Blank card piggy bank. I mean, blank card tower actually seems bad, like horrible. But blank card many cards could be awesome. So, for now... I'll try to roll with this, and actually we'll take that as well, but for now I'll try to roll with this and hope that we get a better card on the next floor. What's kind of interesting is that we can use our blank card tower card to pick up a better card, or at least have a better chance to pick up a better card from having a, um, you know, a bunch of skulls explode. I'm just going to go look for our item room while we're here. I mean, we got so much time, and I don't want to do boss rush. If we can teleport, beautiful. I mean, you don't need me to go on that speech for the 500th time, but if we can teleport, awesome. If we can't, then we probably don't give a shit about boss rush, to be honest with you. Unless it gives us something so powerful we can't deny it. Gimpy, I think, is bad for us as the Lost. So, instead we get pills. Okay, I think we pick up the pill, drop it. We might never take that pill, but um, we've, we've done it at least. Let's try to give it a little money for a reroll. Demon Baby, I think, is good enough. You know, the, the enemies will stay far away from us. Or not stay far away from us, but Demon Baby will hit them if they come too close. I think we're doing just fine right now. And hopefully a not super difficult boss, Gertie. Um, yeah, stationary boss. Can't be too mad about it. Succubus will... Tear it up pretty much every time it passes passes it by here, like a Far Side song. Just trying to keep that one nub there from getting to the point where it can actually explode. There we go. It took a little bit of teamwork, but we got it done. Now, a good deal with the devil. Like, Pact or Mark. Doesn't have to be amazing. Just decent. Uh, instead, we got Range plus Shot Speed. At this point, you know, that's like our second shot speed upgrade and our second range upgrade. Uh, I think we can probably say safely we don't really need any more of those, but... Certainly, at least it's a stat that benefits us as opposed to HP. 
One area in which we've gotten very lucky on this run is we haven't picked up any HP upgrades, which is actually great. We don't want HP upgrades as the lost. Unless they come with something else, like HP plus luck, HP plus damage, or obviously like an HP plus tears or something, like an all stats upgrade would be great, but apart from that, not too concerned. Probably ill-advised to use the tower on a room like this, but I'm at least until we finish off the enemies. Rubber cement, I think, is acceptable. Um, let's hope for a good card. That's not a good card. And we're fighting greed. Which is actually real shitty, because I was like, if there's cards, we'll buy them, man. It doesn't take a lot for us to get something better than the uh, the tower here. Head of the Keeper is well worth the, the cost of doing business, but still. Look at the shot speed, man. It's like we're playing Jez Ball or something here. Okay. Doing good damage. We are slowly but surely stacking up like a half-decent run here, I feel. I figured we might as well use our free charge there to try to blow up that skull. And we did blow up the skull. It didn't really pan out that well, but we tried. And then we'll use it on this room, too. Blew up that skull. Didn't give us anything. That's all right. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Certainly financially, we're going to be, like, completely fine for the rest of the run. We seen our item room. Yes, we got rubber cement. Man, remember what life was like before having that tracker on the side of the screen? I I shouldn't even mention that because some people actually dislike the tracker a lot, but I actually love it. So I can look back and be like, okay, rubber cement. Where did that come from? Of course, that came from our um, that came from our item room. Cause that's the only area it could have come from. And then you know, reminds me, especially on like a curse of the lost floor. Uh, what the heck's going on? Should get that. This would be a great floor for a deal with the devil. And if it's Krampus, then it's Krampus, man. I'm not going to be too mad about it. Uh, and Lump of Coal plus Rubber Cement plus our range and shot speed could be pretty sweet. Potentially. Let's try this. Pretty lucky to not lose Holy Mantle there, I think. <sighs> we are... I'm, I'm still, like, pessimistic about our chances of... of Absolutely, like, kicking the shit out of this run in our current situation. Like, Brownie could screw us here. I'd really like for Brownie to die faster. Yeah, there's our Holy Mantle shot gone. Not even shot, you know what I mean. Good lord. I'm tempted to use the tower. The only reason I'm not is because of the fact that it could just as easily backfire and kick the shit out of us. Oh, we did it. <laughs> we got Pageant Boy. Of all the the items we could possibly need right now, you give me Pageant Boy. Like, that that was a very dangerous uh, situation for us there. Um, hopefully that's a black market. I mean, that would be obviously amazing. Curse Rooms are free as the Lost. That's really the first one we found, huh? I mean, they're only free if we don't get hit. Blank Card Awas. Better than Blank Card Tower? I mean... The increased chance of a crawl space black market seems worth it, and we could also, you know, teleport out of a room where we were ha having some problems, I guess. Like, if we f were fighting a boss and we were pretty sure we weren't going to make it out, I guess there's that, but... It's not my ideal setup. Beautiful. Yeah. Z, Z, Z. Sweet. Gives us Curse of the Maze, right? Is, it, is the voice for that actually a dude saying... Well, a dude. Is it Matthias saying three question marks? That's a good one. Alright, so of course it's a crawl space of some sort. Um, this one's just three cents here. That's not really that good. Wedge ourselves back here and take this Awaz rune. Um, don't really want to do the self-sacrifice room. No, it's not self-sacrifice, the mob trap room. Um, it would have to have, like, an item on a pedestal right away. Ah, that's almost tempting. Even though we don't have any bombs, there's a pretty good chance of getting something out of that. I should point out, Blank Card Awas actually totally allows us to teleport out of boss rush. The only problem is, 
Uh, I don't think there's a problem, actually. I was gonna say the only problem is what if we get a crawl space instead. Uh, or a black market for that matter. Then we'll have to do boss rush. But I think we would go in, pick up an item, go down, and then when we came back up, we'd be, like, legit, I guess. Like, we, we wouldn't have to go fight the enemies. There would be no enemies. we just walk back into the boss room. Probably. I hope that that's correct, because I would... It, within our current situation, at least, I would almost certainly die on boss rush. Unless we picked up an item that completely uh, changed our chances. Again, not that this is a bad run. It's just a terrible run to be doing boss rush on, because... You know, if we get hit by our first enemy, then we've got to survive boss rush without taking any damage at all. This this totally works. You know, just keep firing shots on net here. It'll eventually work out. That's good! Halo of Flies. Orbitals are, you know, beneficial as a character that can't really afford to get hit. It is a bomb that allowed us, or would allow us, I should say, to go back to that... Mob trap room. I mean, of course, if it's Cricket's head or something, I would probably want to go for it. But uh, I think I'm just going to say no for now. I'm going to take a little bit more of like a conservative approach to things and just keep ourselves as safe as possible. Come on, man. All right. You think it's our secret room? I think it's a better than average chance. Get a, ah, what, I've gone on the other side of the map now. Um, we got a few pills. Have we had good pills yet at all? I don't recall. Balls of steel and then power pills. I mean, a, a power pill is okay, but we obviously want to stick with blank card and then anything that can be used with blank card. Should have brought power pills in here though. Power pill, I guess. Alright, so Halo of Flies already paid for itself by allowing me to not get hit there. Thank you very much for your support. We're actually going to be in a bit of a moment here because the mom fight is going to be difficult, man. We are not really well suited to taking out mom. Um, we could, in fact, we should try to use black powder as efficiently as possible. Yeah, there you go. Something at least. Like always. Whew, always endeavor to keep some black powder on the ground. We have poison touch? We do have poison touch, right? No orbitals that deal damage, but poison touch will at least allow us to, uh, you know, do some poison damage. I mean, that's probably pretty obvious. It's basically right there in the name. There we go. Got two black powder circles there. Does that actually do more damage? I doubt it. That was a good one, too. That was decent. I think it worked. I think we're going to get through this. Oh! Be smart. Don't be stupid. Be smart. What's that, like, 1980s song? And I was dumb, played it stupid, should've played it smart, use my hands and not my heart, something like that. It's, it's been a while since I heard it, at least two or three hours. Uh, we get Lump of Coal, which is good! And we beat Krampus, so we don't have to worry about that shit ever again. Yeah, we'll take Mom's... Okay, first off, we should probably blank our AWAS. See what we get. It's a trip down to the next floor, beautiful. Then we'll take Mom's contacts and get the heck out of here. We got the Mom transformation, which means Nod Leaf is almost an instant win. And Lump of Coal combined with Mom's contacts. Pretty solid pickup, I think. I mean, Polycephalus is not a super difficult enemy, but... The fact that we ran through him so quickly there, I think, is a great sign. Lankard Awaz takes us down to the next floor, but we don't want to go to the next floor yet. We do want to go to the curse room, and it is available here. Nice. Good. We're very slow. I feel like I I somehow got slower without realizing how. Fate's reward is is totally fine. What is this? Blank card two of spades. We don't need it, honestly. Um AWAS is not necessarily better, but uh like we really just do not need Blank card, two of spades. We don't need 40, but let's be real. We don't need 99 keys. 
We're not doing the hush fight. You know, we don't have any means of, you know, blank card, wheel of fortuning it right now or anything like that. Let's stick with the thing that might actually be able to save our life in the future. And I think for now we save blank card AWAS for the boss, just in case we really hate the boss and would rather skip the chance at an item and to deal with the devil for, uh... For just a free ticket to the next floor. Nah, blast assist is it should be a pushover with our with our present set of items. So, okay, I got hit, but we can keep ourselves on the other side of the map forever now. Sweet. Okay, synth oil might transform us. No, no spun yet. It's still great though. And then our deal with the devil is multi-dimensional baby, which will obviously pick up and you'd think with lump of coal and uh, our incredible range and rubber cement might actually help us. Book of Sin, give us a good card, man. Now give us a battery charge, which gave us a pill, which I'm not gonna take. Instead, blank card AWAS forever. Alrighty, down to our next floor. <laughs> Still alive and, you know, we continue to get a little stronger every room, every floor, I should say. That is a trip down a shoal. For better or worse, we can't take that because we've forced ourselves to go to uh, the cathedral. Trying to do my best to just like keep uh, shots in the air at all times. The thinking of course being that, you know, rubber cement will push them into multi-dimensional baby, you know. Like they, they go for a while if we just let them go. Yeah, there's like four bounces on the walls there so we might as well just get as many in the sky as is humanly possible. It's another trip down a shoal. It's doing pretty well. You know, something like sad bombs and actually having some bombs would be pretty good here. We've almost got like a weird brimstone level of assurance that we're gonna hit enemies. As long as I aim even close to them, they will go down. Like. The only question is whether they go down fast enough to not pose me any threat at all, and so far that's working out relatively well. Also, like, weirdly piercing shots as well. Succubus is no slouch here either. Nice! Like, it's, it's making them weak enough that my other shots are pretty much guaranteed to finish the job. Yeah, this is good. I didn't think this, I mean, we'd already seen where our boss fight was, and then somehow I still went in the wrong direction. So, I'm not feeling necessarily fantastic about my uh, mental health right now. Well, I feel good fine about my mental health, my mental strength, I guess, but... Let's keep moving on here. Am I gonna fight Hush? Absolutely not. <laughs> Lost Hush is like, non-negotiable, is, is not an option for us. Thank God we finished this room. I did get a little nervous there. Uh, don't really want to open that, just, in, just because of the risk. I don't know if we take damage immediately upon hitting it, because we have Holy Mantle, but there's a chance we might. So why, why throw our pretty sweet run away? Beautiful, okay. We do still have a chance to deal with the devil here as well, so let's see what we get. I think our shots are so weird that we actually killed the enemy we weren't aiming at faster than we killed the enemy we were aiming at. I don't really understand how that works, but I'm, I guess I'm just happy to be here. We did get a deal with the devil, and we got two more guppy items. We've only had two guppy items. I feel like uh, blank card AWAS is worse than guppy's head. But we could get a better card later. Ah, let's go with the flies, man. Let's go with the flies. This is all about just getting a win here. I'll feel pretty good if we snag this win. Of course, starting with Succubus, you know, doesn't make this your average lost run. But at the same time, if we win, I'm not going to care. I'm just going to be excited that we won. We're just waiting for Liberty Cap to give us what we want, which is the directions of the actual boss fight. At least the approximate location. Q 
Keep generating three flies per room. You know, our individual shot damage is not that good. In a way, like, if I'm salty... Whoa, that's a really lucky location to find the boss fight. If there's anything at all I'm salty about on this run, and to be honest with you, I'm not sure that there is, it's that we've been consistently, like, one item away from good transformations. Like, right now, we're one item away from, um... Whoa, careful here. One item away from Spun. We're one item away from uh, Guppy. So getting something like Growth Hormones on the on the chest would be awesome. Or like getting a Joker card that allowed us to get that last Guppy item would also be pretty dope. I feel like we're in kind of a scary position on the chest because we're not going to be clearing most rooms that consist of like actual bosses as quickly as I'd like. But I think we've got a pretty good track record here. I mean, we're at 23 minutes and we've made it down to the chest already as the Lost. With no mapping, you know, no Brimstone Mom's Knife. I recognize we have the Mom Transformation, but that's... Not worth that much. Infestation 2 is amazing. Capricorn's really good. Um, Book of Shadows beats the shit out of Guppy's head uh, on the boss fight. So we'll definitely, like, we can find a pretty good case to make that happen, I think. We're probably now one item away from making Beelzebub happen. Not that that's a huge deal for us. It's It's been a good run, man. Got a fool card. I mean, this is a great situation. Having having Infestation 2 especially is obviously, like, incredible. Mom's Contact played a major role here. Oh, there's our boss fight. Yeah, I mean, we didn't have Piercing Shot before, right? That was on our daily today where I got that. So obviously, we'll, we, I mean, we kind of had piercing shots because like rubber cement functions as a semi like pseudo piercing shot, but I think we're probably gonna get through this just fine. Like these rooms are not looking that bad so far, but you know, it only it only takes one bad room to change that, and we almost had one right there. There we go. Good moves. Keep it up, I'm proud of you. If we can just keep our distance from enemies, I really think like Lump of Coal is carrying like a huge weight for us right now. Yeah, 8 inch nails I have to imagine is going to be awesome for us. Getting to the point where we might want Book of Shadows, but we'll hold off for now. Now, the real measure of this would have been if we could kill those guys without even aiming at them. Oh, there is a chest back there. Looks like this is probably just, like, straight up the wrong way. Chest number one, yum heart. Not very good. Chest number two... Yeah, I'll take Skinny Odd Mushroom. That's, like, I know it's not for everybody, but it's, it's a pretty easy choice for me. Should have tried to kill Sloth last, but it's alright. Um... I, I really like the extra rate of fire, even with Cursed Eye. I mean, I haven't really talked about it. Cursed Eye has been pretty okay on this run. It's never been put in a position where it could backfire on us, I guess. Now, this guy almost killed us earlier. Now he's got no shot whatsoever. It's always reassuring. Is this room? Oh, it's two Forsakens. That's actually really dangerous in case we'd actually... Uh, Left one alive. But we didn't. Okay. Fire mine is like super stupid of me to pick up. And that's exactly why I did it. Because I am an idiot. And it makes it more fun. Um, no, you know, forget the pills. Okay. I mean, it also does give us like a huge damage increase potentially. But we could also get caught in our own explosions. And, you know, even getting caught in our own explosion once could kill us. If we've already been hit on the room, which is a reasonable assumption, I think. But with every ensuing explosion, life gets a little easier here, and we are done now. All right, well, that's a, like, random lost victory. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.